welcome dear students to this class on forms of poetry earlier we have discussed poetry characteristic features of poetry poetic devices figurative language imagery so in this class we'll discuss various forms of poetry we have got three broad categories we have got lyric poetry narrative poetry and dramatic poetry lyric poetry is mainly sung in the you know with the accompaniment of the instrument lyre initially it was like that a narrative poetry narrates a story and the dramatic version in dramatic poetry it's it has got a certain elements of drama the main purpose of lyric poetry is to express the thoughts and feelings of a single speaker and there is no specific tone it can be happy sober a sad angry and but it is musical this broad category includes many specific types of poems like sonnets odes elegy sonnet is actually a 14 line uh, poem of formal tone the subject may vary but the main purpose is to praise it can be petrarchan the rhyme scheme can be petrarchan or shakespearean and the meter is unstressed stressed and there are many examples in english poetry uh, for petrarchan as well as shakespearean songs we have shakespeare, uh, shakespeare 154 sonnets by shakespeare we have sonnets from portuguese by elizabeth barrett browning and many other beautiful sonnets are there and odes on the other hand it is to celebrate or honor a person object or an idea and usually uh, it has got a formal tone and there would be specific rhyme and rhythm uh, there are different examples that you will find and also you will learn in your poetry uh, text uh, or to a spring or to a nightingale by keats the other one was by uh, shelley so that is old that is one example of lyric poetry an elegy is another an example another example uh, of lyric poetry which laments the death of someone it has got a very solemn serious theme and the tone is very formal sad and structure may vary but this but the main theme is actually lament we have elegy written in a country churchyard by thomas gray a uh, o captain my captain by walt whitman lycidas by milton there are many other elegies which are very beautiful and which has got some sort of musical quality as well coming to narrative poetry the main purpose is to tell a story in verse there is no specific tone it can be happy or sad or whatever you know it is similar to a short story and will have a plot setting characters will be there there will be a problem and finally a resolution and epics and ballads you know come under this uh, category epics are long rambling poems you know inspiring exciting poems about a hero the tone is very serious at the same time the subject is also very serious and it often begins by um, appeasing a muse you know for example uh, the famous epic in english literature that is uh, milton's paradise lost and we have got ballads you know traditional ballads and also literary ballads it tells a story about an adventure a tragedy or a romance and it has got different uh, tones maybe happy or sad or whatever but it is structured like a, a song and uh, there are refrains repetitions that we find you know which gives this musical quality uh, to the ballads you know medieval ballads like uh, sir patrick spence the story of sir patrick spence the nut brown maid and we have literary ballads as well uh, modeled after the traditional ballads few other forms that we find this uh, 
free verse poetry which has got no specific tone no strict structure no regular meter no intentional rhyme no fixed line length or no specific uh, stanza pattern you know it has got a very loose structure and uh, the theme can be theme can vary it is free verse then there is another uh, interesting uh, form that is uh, limerick another humorous uh, poem the tone is very humorous it has got five lines and it has got specific uh, rhythm and uh, rhyme scheme and for example the poem a book of nonsense it's a, an example of limerick very humorous poem there was once there was an old man with a beard who said it was just as i feared two owls and a hen four loves and a wren have all built their nest in my beard now so it's an example of a uh, limerick another kind of poem is a concrete poem or shape poem where the shape of the words suggests a topic or idea in the poem you know words are arranged in such a way that you know it it gives you know it suggests the meaning of the poem as well it's uh, light hearted and it's very humorous and it has got a very loose structure like free verse there is no regular uh, meter uh, no rhyme scheme you know this example uh, of a concrete poem you know it's a, it's a, it's about trees and the words are arranged in such a way that you know it gives a feeling that you know we get the impression of a tree you know the trees keep me free as i walk around to let my soul flow freely in the breeze so it is arranged as if you know it is a tree you know this is yet another concrete poem moon where the words are arranged in such a way that it gives an impression of moon another form of poetry is haikus a japanese you know it's of japanese origin mostly nature poems come under this uh, form and uh, it is thoughtful and can be playful also at times but very short unrhymed simple and powerful and has got a strict structure that is it has got three lines the first one having five syllables and the second seven syllables and the third one again uh, five syllables you know for example uh, the poem hummingbird which has got three lines chirping in the trees in mid air or with beating wings tiny precious bird it's an example of um, haiku you know an ancient form of poetry that comes from japan so we have other examples as well mountains again we have got you know five syllables in the first line seven syllables in the second and again five syllables in the last line reaching to the sky birds singing in the pine pine trees home for animals you know these are all nature poems examples of haiku so these are a few forms of uh, poetry that you need to learn uh, for this uh, uh, paper introduction to literary studies and also for the other paper reading uh, poetry for the communicative english uh, class so please go through these various forms of poetry uh, narrative for narrative poetry dramatic poetry and uh, this uh, uh lyric poetry coming to this dramatic poetry you know the the very fine examples example is a dramatic monologue you now we have got many dramatic monologues especially the dramatic monologues of robert browning you know it's it has got a few elements of drama you know you you have a speaker and there is a listener a silent listener and we get the impression uh of the situation of other characters you know of the theme through this one speaker and you know, we have many examples like um, andrea del sarto by robert browning fra lippo lippi you know these are all examples of dramatic uh, monologues so that is uh, now there is an example of dramatic uh, poetry so these are the these are broad categories that uh, we find uh, in the study of poetry Uh, so you will also learn these uh, different genres, uh, uh, like you know all these uh, different uh, forms in detail, like elegy, sonnet, ode, uh, epic, ballad, and so on. So you know, this is just an introduction 
to these uh, different forms of poetry i hope this is clear to you and if you have any doubts you can uh, message me or um, you can post it in the google classroom thank you